So I'm still trying to figure out if it's a good or bad thing that every time I was on the ship, I at least partially started to hymn the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4, um, graphics are the best yet in the series, you can especially tell in the facial animations, and I can kind of see the uh, PS4 version within this uh, game uh, on the PS3 and how much better it can be, so graphics are really, really impressive, or at least for me, since I've played the entire series. Uh, voice acting is amazing and authentic as usual. Uh, the environment is very, very lush and well done, especially with the waves and the islands and kind of like the jungle brush type of feel. And the soundtrack is pretty good. Uh, it's not bad, it's great, it's just, as I mentioned before, I found myself humming or singing or something the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song, which I guess can be considered a good thing. Gameplay in Assassin's Creed 4 is not really change from anything. Uh, there's impressive moves with swords, guns, impressive combos, but it's nothing that you're not expecting. You counter, attack, just a straight out attack, break a defense, shoot people. But what I did notice about the gameplay was it was much more fierce and savage. Like the combos or the finishing kills were very gruesome, which really kind of fit with the whole pirate mentality and it was just one of those a few improvements, at least in the gameplay department. Uh, the replayability, side missions, collectibles, is astronomical. Um, if it's worth its own game, pretty much. The it has the side missions and the collectibles and the exploring is more content than most games that come out nowadays. Uh, just it took me probably 15 hours just on collectible side missions and exploring. And lastly, um, a lot of the, you know, more minor problems have been fixed, except for the, you know, Assassin's Creed typical problems. And those problems are uh, the controls won't respond to you, the game won't let you do something, you'll try to climb but you can't, you should be able to climb or jump but you can't, um, you'll jump to the wrong place even though you didn't, you know, control that. And it just seems like it's part of the Assassin's Creed engine or mechanics or something because these problems have been improved over time, granted, but it seems like they're just plagued in the uh, AC franchise. But, I mean, it doesn't limit the game in any way. It's just frustrating when it does happen. The story isn't bad, but it kind of doesn't feel like it fits the Assassin's Creed universe. Um, and I can't really find a better way to explain it better than this. If um, the story and the character were like Ezio, this game would seriously be giving The Last of Us uh, Game of the Year contention because of all the other stuff, as I mentioned, collectible side missions, graphics, soundtrack, voice acting, all that. If this had a well-developed character and one that fit the Assassin's Creed saga and lore like Ezio did, this game would be so, so, so much better. But it is still fun to play. It was just something I kind of picked up on along the way. And the last uh, con are the loading screens are kind of long in some places. Like, literally probably like 90 seconds long and there are a minimal freezing issues I think I had to hard reset my ps3 twice and there was two more times where it froze but then it fixed itself 